Hi, my name is Christina D'Angelo and I am your career and technical education teacher in business technology. In this class, you will get to use your own computer to learn Word, spreadsheet software, PowerPoint slideshows. You will be able to gain skills that you can use in any business, whether it be owning a restaurant, running, uh, managing a retail store, any business that you uh, want to pursue, you will need to have a business background. You'll learn how to keep a checkbook, you'll learn financial, how to make good financial decisions. We have an FBLA club that is now going to Hershey PA to go in the state finals. We uh, do a lot of fun activities here in the computer lab, so stop by and see me in room 400. I would love to have you. Hi, my name is Ms. Coulson. I'm the Child Care Support Services teacher at South Philadelphia High School, Southern Learning Early Learning Academy. The Child Care Program helps students to learn how to care for young children between their birth, birth and age eight. If you're interested in learning more about child care, working in a Head Start Family Child Care or a teacher assistant, please stop by room 208 to learn more. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ms. Powell and I teach advertising and graphic design here at South Philadelphia High School. I'm in room 217A, and we have beautiful Mac computers, 27 inch flat screens, and we use Adobe Creative Suite. Have you ever heard of Photoshop? We also learn how to design logos. Here, this is a logo that I did. They had their logos on here. It's called Steps of Faith and steps. I needed something rugged and strong and then of faith, so I used the script type. My name's uh, Steve Grosso. I'm the computer and networking instructor here at South Philadelphia High School. This is just an example of some of the computers you'll get to build and repair in my class. We, uh, this is a major technology program where we teach every aspect of hardware, software, and networking. You'll learn how to repair everything, how to connect up the network, how to connect computers to a network, how to configure your computer, how to install operating systems. It's probably one of the highest paying skills you can learn in the world. Hi, I'm Paul Colvo. I'm the carpentry teacher uh, here at South Philly. Um, just want to explain a little bit about my shop. Uh, this is a carpentry program. Uh, we focus on uh, pretty much typical building construction, wall framing, some deck construction. Right here we have some examples of uh, typical walls that we're building, uh, rough opening framing, sheathing. Uh, we have some decking here that we work on because the students can't uh, nail into concrete, so we built the decking. Uh, we have some platforms where we do some stairs and risers. Basically, the students are going to be trained for uh, any related industrial or construction trade. They're going to get the basics of measuring, uh, hand tools, power tools, safety, uh, construction math, some basic geometry. So. Uh, whether students are interested in carpentry or not, they can be set up for uh, maybe a plumbing or electrician trade or masonry, something similar. And we're also introducing some uh, green building technology as well. Uh, we have some solar uh, panel trainers, uh, some energy efficiency. So it's really a diverse field and uh, they get a good start for uh, any maybe building trades or industrial job they may be looking for. Hi, my name is Ms. Weber and I'm the nursing uh, instructor for the Health Academy, which is um, health-related technology. Uh, health-related te health technology is an allied health course, and you get exposure to uh, various different areas in the healthcare field. An example would be uh, working with children pediatrics, uh, working in, uh, with orthopedic patients, working with cardiology patients, but you get uh, foundation set uh, and we do different skills like vital signs which includes temperature, pulse, respiration, blood pressure. Uh, we learn how to relate the different skills that we do um, to what we, we need to know. We need background in medical abbreviations, uh, medical terminology, and you need to know those things in order to take care of your patients um, properly. 
Hello, my name is Mr. Hutchinson. I am a career and education teacher at South Philadelphia High School, and welcome to my engineering class. Uh, in this class, you'll learn a variety of pieces of equipment, from pneumatics, to hydraulics, to pumps, to process control, to uh, electric systems, to mechanical systems. If you ever were ever interested in learning about how things work and why things work, please consider engineering as your next career choice. John Evans, I'm a career and technical education teacher at South Philadelphia High School and we're teaching engineering technology here at the school. Uh, some of the things that you'll learn here at the school are electromechanical technology systems where we take air and we take electrical and we make systems work. We have uh, tensile and testing uh, machinery, we have compression testing machinery where we can test the strength of materials. We have uh, mechanical drive systems where we, we test the speed of motors and pulleys and gears and sprockets, things like that for mechanical drive systems. We have a 3D printer system now that we're going to be working on for this coming year. Uh, we have AutoCAD software where you learn how to do design work. Mostly everything in this program is teaching you and centered around the design concept of CAD, Computer Aided Drafting and Design. Um, I'm Green. I, I work at South Philadelphia High School and I'm part of the CTE program, Career Technical Education. We'll be teachers, of course, culinary arts. We have a culinary arts program that you can attend during your sophomore year up to your senior year, which your sophomore year you can take on a one. They proceed to culinary two, they proceed to culinary three. Within those years of culinary, you're going to learn everything, all the aspects of, uh, of cooking, sanitation, and how to work within a restaurant slash kitchen slash hospitality. Uh, the great thing about this program is that when you graduate from culinary three, you'll have your short seat, which is a food handling license, which a lot of people in the industry do not have, and businesses tend to pay extra money for people who have that certification. You also have credit hours within the program, and not only that, but you'll get to work with different uh, different people within the industry, and then actually have a chance to network and set up a potential job for you during the summer. The program is excellent, and we'll take a look. I see some students already cooking and working. We, we like to create different dishes, create different foods. We always have something burning. Per se. But the great thing about culinary is that whether it, whether or not you want to apply this this skill to a job or just learn how to cook for that special someone in your life or just learn how to cook for yourself, whether you're going to college or living on your own. Everyone needs to eat, so everyone needs to learn some aspect of cooking. So please come out, come by, visit us, and find out what we're doing here. Thank you. My name is Stanley Tunney. I'm the CTE accounting teacher for South Philadelphia High School. Accounting is the language of business. One of the main reasons for having accounting is to make managerial decisions. You want to know, how are you making a profit? How much it would cost you to make an item? Uh, should you expand your business? Would you be able to borrow money from the bank? They would all want to see your financial records. So with accounting, no matter what type of business, how big or how small you are, you must keep track of your money and how your business is operating. I'm first class retired Timothy Mack. I'm an Army instructor at South Philadelphia High School. Here in our JROTC program, our mission is to motivate young people to be better citizens. Teaching them a lot of leadership, teamwork, uh, basically life skills that's going to help them throughout their school careers, college life and their life in general. Um, we focus on extracurricular activities, education, um, keeping kids involved with different programs and activities throughout the school. Our cadets are the leaders in the school. They set the tone for the environment in the class, in the hallways, and throughout the building. Whenever their um, presence is in the area, we expect them to bring that atmosphere that keeps the whole school atmosphere in a positive sense. 